Hey, it's Jeremy here. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to create some cool isometric text effect in Illustrator. First up, I'm gonna show you this picture. You wanna probably screenshot this or you know go on Google and you can find this image, but I downloaded this image. Pretty much what you wanna do, you got three different standard sides that you have to deal with when it's isometric. You got the left, top, and the right. And in order to do this, all you have to do is follow this. So you just start off with a shape. It can be any shape or any text or font, whatever. You want to scale it down to 86.062, shear this one by minus 30 and rotate it by minus 30 and you should get this here. And then you just follow this one, same thing but the shearing is, is 30 and the rotates minus 30. And then the right one's a bit different, this is the same and then this is 30 and 30. And you should get the each side, so you got you know, left, top and right. So for me, I made actions and I got another video which you can watch on my channel but I've already custom made these and recorded it as a action so I can just literally left click. So if I type in here like this and now if I go to my actions, I can literally click, click it and it's already good like that. And I can show you the other ones as well. So this just makes it really easy top and then I click the action here right so you can literally make it within seconds it's that easy so I'm just gonna quickly how to show you how to do one side so I'm gonna type topography and I'm gonna do it in uppercase because it looks better it's more readable when you do isometric so I'm gonna follow this image and that's what we're gonna do so So first up, we want to select our text. What we want to do is we want to go to Object, Transform, Scale. And then we want to type this number in, 86.062. It's all a mathematical thing, so that's why we have to do it this way to get proper isometric. I'll press OK. You can see it, it did something. I'm going to Object, Transform, and we're going to go to Shear. So we're going to do minus 30. So type minus 30 on the Shear angle. You can leave everything else as is. I want to press OK, and you can see it has sheared the type there. Now we go back to Object Transform, and what we're going to do is go to Rotate, and what we're going to do is we want to type minus 30 on the angle, and press OK. So now you can see we have the left hand side of the isometric shape, you can see that, and that's how you pretty much do it, and I can, I can still type on the font. I can, you know, if I maybe I want to edit, I can um, turn it into shapes and I can move stuff around, you know, and do some crazy weird stuff if I want. It's like super awesome, super cool. But um, but yeah, that's how you do the isometric effect. And I hope you guys enjoyed this simple tutorial. If you want to learn more about isometric or do some more tutorials, let me know in the comments below. I'm always happy to work on other tutorials for you guys. And remember to subscribe and hit the like button because it really helps me out. It helps the videos get seen. I really appreciate you guys. And I hope you have an amazing week. Take it easy.